previously on Amori. I don't love my brother that much. I love all hero and all, but not that. <laughs> I told you guys, I told you. Even real life Kel is still my son. <laughs> the dad's gonna show up. He's just gonna be some dude with glasses and headphones on his head. And he's gonna be like, hello! I'm like, dad, you're embarrassing me. Stop acting like a weirdo. Stop doing all your dumb voices. Nobody gives a shit, all right? You're not funny, Dad. I go to the corner. I'm like, I'm sort of funny. <laughs> and now back to... It's not scary as you think. Hello! Sneako B. Back with some more Mori. We last left off. Oh, my God. It's a beautiful day in the mother neighborhood ah look at this vibrant colorful world that i actually live in who knew and kel he's got a tan and brown hair and different expressions and no chicken ball but that's okay i still love him he's still my son and i will always love him thanks dad oh my god it's so beautiful look at it look at it <laughs> Honestly, this is uh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm really digging this. I'm saying why maybe you guys were so excited about it. Cause here's the thing, I was not expecting this level of freedom. I was not. This is this is like I'm playing a totally different game now, like a separate game inside of another game. This is like the more I've started sounding this, I'm like, this is kind of fucking insane, because this is a like an area with a completely different color palette, which requires a holy fucking shit ton of new assets no wonder this game took like seven years to get done good god i thought it was gonna be like i'm gonna leave and then we're gonna go through like a series of cutscenes, and then i go back in you know like but we're gonna get more and more story and lore and stuff as we do it no it's an entire free roaming open world outside of my already free roaming open headspace that's some freaking banana shit man and it's chock full of side quests and things to do and people to meet and I, I love it dude it's like holy shit i think the fact that i've actually gone through everything on the ikikomori route and seen pretty much everything that there is in headspace and now i can go out into the world and see what all the inspirations for everything is is kind of awesome like this actually really making me happy that i i chose to do it this way because i think there would be probably times where you would if you played the other one first you might see things that didn't have their counterpart yet until you went to headspace i mean of course you then go to headspace and be like oh hey there's the thing i remember that from the other world but i kind of like doing it where i just literally saw everything there was to see and i can come to this side and go all right here's all, here's where everything is derived from i don't know it's kind of neat but anyway you guys are super excited uh i'm glad i figured you probably would be you guys have been waiting for this i know um uh, but i do i am seeing why you guys were so excited about this and i'm just the then, I mean, we haven't technically we haven't really gotten a whole lot of lore yet, you know, just other than meeting with Kel and seeing the outside of the town. But we're gonna be working our way towards that. We still have yet to see uh, Aubrey or Hero either, so I don't know where the hell they might be. I mean, well, Hero's Hero's supposed to be like coming back from college or something. Uh, I don't know about Aubrey. I don't know where she is actually. I don't think we have we even seen anybody mention her. Where the fuck is she? Oh God, I swear, to, I swear to fuck, if she ends up being dead, I'm gonna be super pissed. If, she, if I was wrong the whole time, it turns out the person that died is actually fucking Aubrey. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be mega pissed. Uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, Mazato said, Kel, oh my God, Sonny, you answered the door. I'm so happy to see you. Sonny, actually, I'm just getting the mail. Sonny then heads back inside and continues on to <laughs> Kikomori Route 2. <laughs> yes, that's right. I told you guys, this is how you get the 300 extra rooms in black space. That's right, baby. The Kikomori Route 2. Let's go. Damn, I can't wait for to spend another fucking 45 hours on Kikomori Route 2. More Dank Lore. More Squid Girls. More fucking Humphrey. More Talking Old Tree. More Slinky Cat that kills you in a single hit. Dude, it's going to be fucking crazy, man. I wouldn't even put a pat this game to actually have that, though. Like for that actually to happen. It's like, oh, it turns out that was there the whole time. Or that's DLC. <laughs> and knowing me, I'd also probably still check it out. God damn it. But anyway, Mazato, thank you so much for your hilarious comment. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. Anyway, you guys left me some tips. Um, first off, you did tell me that I the multiple times knocking on a house is unnecessary. I really just gotta do one and I should be fine. But the other thing is that basically when I'm out here, the day is going to progress. Uh, we're gonna get different times of day. And as that happens, I need to make sure that I go back through 
and talk and check everything again once the time changes to make sure I don't miss anything. So, um, okay, will do. Interesting, though, also, the way these quests apparently work um, is that it is like, it's sort of the reason why apparently a lot of people miss this because there's actually an achievement involved to doing everything that there is to do in the real world. Um, and it always like 0.5% of people have managed to get it. It's like one of the rarest ones. And the reason is because if you happen to miss anything along this path, you're locked out of that entire quest line for the remainder of your your game. Damn, okay, all right. I'm gonna have to be super thorough then. But okay, good, I only, have to, I only have to knock once. That's good. You guys also did say that every house pretty much has a, something associated with it, like um, something to do, but sometimes you won't be able to access it until certain times of the day, so. Um, have I been in this house? Uh, I don't know if I have been. Is that a remote? You see a remote TV remote under the couch. Uh, all American guy. No, I've definitely not. Oh my God, is this Guile or something? Oh boy, you see I watch TV. Hey man, this house is hanging, I gotta say. Nothing like enjoying a long weekend with my favorite couch and my favorite show on TV. So one more thing about me right now, otherwise perfect day, the remote, right? Give out my TV remote anyway. I'm way too comfortable to leave this couch. So you can just give it to me. Thanks, kiddos. I got it, dude. <laughs> I like how I saw that first time and just assumed that maybe that's where he wanted it. Hey, there's my TV remote. Thanks, kiddos. Yeah, take some orange Joe on me. Got some, you got some beer instead. Fuck yeah. All American guys' eyes are fixated on the TV. Number 85 is wide open, motherfucker. What kind of pass was that? Piece of shit. Out of my way! Pulls out his fucking shotgun. He's like, I will, I will ask you one, only one last time, good sir. Just stand out of the way of that TV. I'm gonna pick up your trash for you, man. Because that's I'm, cause I'm a good boy. Okay, uh, got a nice living room with a white porcelain tea set. Man, people have a lot of fucking, a lot of bamboo stalks here. Lots of bamboo. It's very popular. Oh, all American mom. Oh, if it isn't killing, Sonny. It's been a, it's been a while since I've seen you two. Hope you're having a good day. Michael, you're of course so tall. You're basically a head taller than me. He did, like, yeah, Kel's actually, he has. He's gotten so much taller. Your mother told me about your growth spurt, but it's another thing seeing in person. <laughs> I remember I could still pat you on the head. Oh, you're such a mischievous child. I still am, baby. <gasps> oh my God, the muffins are ready. Oh no, I forgot about my pie. <laughs> Whew, that was a close call. Unfortunately, it's a little burnt. At the fair, it probably would have beat right an eight out of 10, but I promise it's still quite delicious. I don't just take my word for it. You must try it yourself. You got pie. I got a slice of pie. To join the pie, I'm working on perfecting my recipe for the Summer Inn County Fair. I've won every year I've entered so far, and I hope this won't be any different. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I see. This is where that comes into play. Pillsbury, Pillsbury Dough Kids, and oh, ho, ho. It's just a million pies in here. Brussels sprouts, potato salad, and lots of orange Joe. Oh, damn, I love me some orange Joe. Ugh. Kel's Fair Soda, orange flavored coffee. Oh, that's right. I got that at the restaurant. <laughs> I wonder if we will uh, be at that uh, pie contest or whatever. Is that gonna be another quest, potentially? Oh, that's interesting. We're, they have no rooms down here? Photos of a girl taken throughout her childhood. At some point, she dyed her hair blue. Hey, it looks like she's the same age as you. Interesting though, that they don't have a uh, another room down there like we do. Hey, neighbor, how's it going? Blue hair girl. Hey, Kel. Oh, and who else, who else is with you? Oh, wait, I recognize you. It's Sunny, isn't it? Sorry, it's been a while. I think we only met a few times. My family has always lived here, but I was sent off to boarding school for a few years and just came back about three years ago, I think. Hey, Sunny, Chris is my next door neighbor. She's really cool. She's the fastest swimmer in school. When she's in the water, people compare her to a mermaid or a shark or even a torpedo. Kelly, you're never sure on compliments. <laughs> Are you trying out for the junior varsity basketball team this year? I'm sure you'll be a shoo <laughs> Well, I'll try. I've been playing every now and then with the strangers at the park. I think I'm getting better, but it's a little hard to tell. Heh. <laughs> but if I practice basketball as much as you practice swimming, I'd probably have a better chance. Oh, I'm not that hardworking. 
Feels like fun to me, honestly. And besides... Oh, sorry, my, my voice is still a little shot from these past stream, uh, streams this past weekend. Female voices are coming out as good. Even though I love swimming in pools, I love swimming in the ocean even more. I love everything about the ocean. The beach, the sound of the waves, even the smell of seaweed. Uh, e sorry, I must have a little obsessed. That's totally fine. It's good to be passionate about something, isn't it? E I guess. Actually, I think this all started because I went to boarding school on an island and really drove my time there. On an island? Was it with the crab and in the li island line on fire? Those she reminds me of the friends I made there. I hope I, maybe I can see them again one day. But for the time being, I guess I'll just be collecting seashells and stuff. You know, that story kind of reminds me of this, but Sonny's actually moving away from here really soon. Maybe you can give him some tips on how to handle moving away to a new place. Oh, Sonny's moving? Hmm. Well, being away from friends is pretty tough at first. But change is just a fact of life. It's the memories we make with them that we should cherish. You know what? I just decided something. If you see these seashells, can you bring them to me? They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. There's one right there. <laughs> oh, you found a seashell. D did I? Oh, that's right. I did. I found it in, in the uh, the plant place. Wow, such a cute one. Eat, thank you. Bluer girl's fiddling with something in her hands. Hey, no peeking. Okay, I guess I didn't. I guess I gotta wait and get it enough. Hey, look, sinking fish. This bed is the perfect balance of firm and soft, but the sheets seem to be a little lacking in comfort. You rate this a six out of ten. Ow! A custom-made fish tail you can wear over your feet. What? Oh, oh, oh! It look like a mermaid. I got you. Become a mermaid. Oh wait, 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 wait! Trash. Gr grain juice in a can. Yes. Drunken American daddy. I guess it only counts as trash if there's like flies over it or something. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Let's do it again. Oh, yeah. That was actually expected at that time. Is this where I get my boombox enemy? This bed's big, but the mattress feels uneven and lumpy. Six out of ten. Rate every mattress you find, Sonny. Never stop. The bed she smell like drunken sex and shame. Nine out of ten. <laughs> okay, so that's uh one of the houses on our street. Wait, I still can't go in here, right? Can we try this already? Nope. Knock, knock. No response. Ooh, some more trash. This traffic comes to slice. Hello? No response. Going in through the window. Just take this trash while I'm over there. While I'm at it. A classic white mailbox. Oh, God. This better not be where Sweetheart fucking lives. So many pink flamingos. No response, okay. Where are they going? Classic white mailbox. An old red pickup truck. Appears to be way past his suggested life expectancy. Grab the trash, hurry. Bring it to the lady. Get a dollar out of it, Sonny. Oh, hey. Hey, kids. You're here to stop watching Fix Pipe once for all. Come here, come here. All right, yeah, that's right, this dude. Dude, man, come on. First, gotta get this trash out of here. Yeah, it seems like only the ones with flies around are the ones I can take with me. You open the pot. Mm, smells like mac and cheese, baby. We got in the fridge. Some off-brand soda and ketchup pa ketchup packets? Damn, this guy's living on a wing and a prayer, isn't he? You know, finished combo meal. It looks moldy. Ew. This guy's a little bit of a, a little bit of a dirty birdie. Just a few more last minute adjustments. I can put this baby to rest. Ah, sweet sound of silence at last. Oh. Rats. Guess I'll try again tomorrow. Here's a dollar, kids. Go get yourself some candy or something. A whole dollar? Damn. Thanks, sir. To newspapers and magazines seem to accumulate over a long period of time. Bunch of tools. Okay, so this is very clear. Very clearly, this is a guy that is has no ambition or drive, right, to get anything done. He's like, well, it's it's just pouring on the ground. He's like, I tried. I guess I'll try again late. 
tomorrow. Why do it today when you can do it tomorrow, they always say. You make me sick, sir. Like, literally sick. This place is disgusting. Damn, nice poster back there. What does that say? Something tough? Tonka tough. A table lamp. This bed is sticky. There's taffy stuck on the sheets. You would rate a 2 out of 10. Gross. Bunch of books and comics about dinosaurs. A messy desk filled with trading cards and candy. Hmm. So he's got a kid who he, he also just gives a bunch of candy or money to get candy. A cactus. Sturdy and resilient. Just like Kel. Yeah, I wonder, so I wonder whose kid is living here. A skill. I can't remember the last time you used one of these. A bunch of tools. That is messy. You rate it a 3 out of 10. So this is the dad's. Clearly a dad living on his own. Not capable of cleaning up after himself. In charge of a kid. That's a good combination. <gasps> the holy church. Does the preacher live on our street too then? Is that what the, why there's statues outside of there? Far away cemetery. Hmm, looks like they're setting up for a sermon. You don't really want to spend your last days here hanging out at the church, do you? I guess not. Okay, there are still quite a few houses on that street that we haven't been able to go into. What about this side? Fertilizer. Pew! Holy shit, that's a lot of flowers. Uh, another very bright pink house. No response. Doggo? A dog house. <gasps> Is that... Hey, stranger, you just in time to critique my latest work in progress. Is that Aubrey? Is it? No, I don't think so. I th otherwise, it would say something. It wouldn't say, it wouldn't say artist. Look at this sketch for me. What do you think? The drawing look too stiff, doesn't it? Yes. Thanks, I thought so too. It's still coming to me now. It's Bruce just striketh. And voila. Ah, oh, it looks so much better. Hey, can I book you for a minute? I feel like this piece is missing something. Maybe the character needs a little more detail. Oh, I know. I can have some detail right here, here, and here, and here. That would work, wouldn't it? Yeah. Of course, it's so obvious, don't you think? Yeah, it's all coming to me now. It's rich just striketh. And voila! It's so beautiful. The extra detail really does make a difference. Oh, uh, this is where I, I guess I, this is where I, I must have based uh, the artist guy at the castle from. Although I'm pretty sure he was a, he was a dude and this is definitely a lady, but whatever. I got to mix things up. All right, come on. I already had sprout moles and fucking sweetheart in that castle. I was like, I need to, I need to, I need to mix it up a little bit. We need to throw a dude in there. Can I get your opinion? What do you think about the color here? Should I make the background red or blue? Wait, don't answer. It would look better with a red background, right? Yes. Completely agree. Red's undoubtedly the right choice here. Red will bring this painting to the next level. It's all coming to me now. His reason is striketh. And voila! This piece is finally done. Thanks. I couldn't do this without you. Cool. I helped. <laughs> Some cheap paints. Small bone. A stuffed animal. It's seen better days. <gasps> Hi, doggy. Bark, bark. It's good dog. Bark, bark, bark. Lucas, quit your yapping. Would you like to pet the doggo? Yes. You pet the dog. Bark, bark, bark. The dog seems content. And so am I. I will pet doggo. Keep petting doggo. Don't stop. He deserves all the pets. All of them. He's happy. He's very good boy. Looks his food and bowl. There's slobber all over it. It looks like, like a lab or a golden retriever or something. We got in the fridge. Milk, tea, and fried fish cake. Uh, a big fish bowl. There's at least two goldfish in here. They look healthy. Well, that's good. I'm glad the dog isn't getting neglected or anything like that. Clearly. Looks his dog face. He's to have outgrown it a bit. Oh, shit. Here we go. So, I like this guy going to the top of their movements here. This theme sounds familiar. I've heard something similar to it. Some space invaders sounding shit though, isn't it? All right, that's enough of that. It helps me focus. An unfinished painting. Spez on the floor. You're not sure how to rate this. <laughs> this doesn't get a rating. A classic, classical painting. Checkerboard. Drink our sky across the floor. Bed's a little on the soft side, but overall not too bad. Se 7 out of 10. I can't wait to find the 10 out of 10 bed. Godlike bed. It better exist. I've heard of, I've heard it does in Legends. There's some shiny train cars on the table. So is this the... 
Uh, the mom then? I think it is. I think it's, so there's a kid living here too then, right? Seemingly. Also seems to be just the mom living on her own here. Okay, that's the end of this street. Oh yeah, I can play, I can play against this guy. Hey, son, I've heard that you've been clashing with pet rocks all around town. Oh, shit. You want a real challenge? You know that some folks in the Fire Ray Plaza are veterans of pet rock. Four of them, to be precise. They normally challenge newbies, but for one, for, for you, I'm sure they'll make an exception. You should talk to us. Some shop staff is frequent customers in the area. They'll be sure to test your strength to the limit. Oh my god, he sells fucking pie. Oh, okay, I'm not actually challenging him. Toy capsule machine, sure. I got a green ball. A blue slinky. I don't know if I can actually do anything with these things or not, but I still want it. Oh god, it's the demon cat. But it's pink. That's a purple a purple ball. Oh hey, there's the yellow one. That that's the demon cat. Does he also become a slinky? Oh, I see. I see. This is, a, this is where I get the chimera stuff that comes into play, right? The yellow cat, and then I got a slinky a second ago. It was like, he was like, basically those things that were found in this toy capsule machine were like used into him, right? That's what made him a chi chimera. Okay, that's all right, good. It wasn't based off an actual cat. That's what I was afraid of. I was like, please don't let the deep dang lore be like some poor, Poor Mr. Kitty, kitty mutilation or some shit. Green hand. Can't get enough, baby. Oh, good, another slinky. These are all like accessories? Yeah. I wonder if there's like some super shit in here. I'm getting something different every time, at least. Ooh, the golden slinky, yellow slinky, pink ball. <gasps> red hand. Oh, got a red hand. Uh, now this one, this one I definitely need to equip. <laughs> this one just feels right. Oh God, you got Chimera Keychain. Oh God, I just right. There he is. What was that weird song? <laughs> that fucking like three second loop he had. As he falls me. <laughs> Chimera Keychain. Oh Jesus Christ. You look at machine and see that you have already have each charm. Oh God, what have I done? A portable cat? Oh, hey, this actually increases my luck. Dope. This actually does something. Somehow I feel stronger with this. Unfortunately, I want to keep my pet rock on so I don't actually miss anybody. Okay, I think I've been everywhere that I can go. Currently. There's little construction cones. I don't know if I can actually go over to where these are at some point. Or if these are just like, just something to block the road. Um, all right, let's go ahead and uh, see what's happening here. Oh my God, is that actually Basil? Wait, don't go, please. So, so dude, I can't help you You're on your own. Uh-oh, there's a commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. Is that actually Basil? Is he alive? I say none of my business. He's dressed like Doug. If you got beef with her, then talk to yourself, you creep. I'm begging you, just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait, is that? That's Basil! Leave him alone, you bully! Oh my god, Basil's not dead! Yay! <laughs> oh my god, he's not fucking dead! Oh, thank god. Huh? Wh who's there? He's on a scooter? Oh, it's just Kel. Uh, grumble, grumble. Oh, wait, you know, is, is that Burly? Why don't you mind your own business? Why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Kim. Oh, 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 oh. Kim and Vance, right? That is definitely a lady. Psh, why aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. Oh, uh, what's going on over there? Oh, God. What in the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh my God, no. Oh my God, what the hell, Aubrey, what happened to you? Ah, uh, Aubrey turned to the dark side. Oh my God, this whole time, Aubrey was fucking running by on her dumb bike? She was running from my eyes with pink hair? In a big bow? Oh, hey, Aubrey, this nerd counts. Oh my God, she's turned into a bully. Sir Count show up, thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Oh my God. Kel, 
What do you want? Stop messing with Basil! How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Sonny. I don't talk. Talking's for losers. <laughs> Sonny's here. She just grabs me, makes out with me, and then she fucking smacks me in the face. That's for standing me up, motherfucker. I just sit there, I'm like, today's a good day. <laughs> wow, really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't, you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. He's been through some shit that we're never going to talk about. <laughs> Sonny looks over. Elaborate. Please elaborate. Whatever. <gasps> ah, Basil, you're not dead. Oh, my God. I was totally wrong about that. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Okay, then. You're not dead. So then why do I see you as a demon in my head? Aubrey, please listen to me. Aw. Hey, you stop that. You stop that now. Leave it alone, Kels. This is your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Uh, Sonny. Come on, we gotta do something. Huh? Are you guys really picking a fight? Oh, fuck. She's got a literal bat. Sure, why not? Two of you against me? How's that sound? Come at me! <laughs> oh, shit, here we go. I'll take on the both of you! <laughs> oh, my God! Aubrey's here. She's fucking pissed. Oh, God. Angry rock music is playing. Keep calm and fucking stab. Stab her. Okay, encourage me. Yay. Ow. Ugh. God! What the fuck? Did you just stab me, Sonny? Yeah, I'm, I'm good at stabbing now. I've gotten real good at stabbing. Is, is that a knife? <laughs> That's a knife. Oh, shoot, Aubrey, are you okay? You're, you're hurt. I, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Wow. Oh, then sudden, oh, right. This is not an RPG. This is real life. If I stab somebody, they're probably going to die <laughs> or, or get really hurt. Damn, man. Sorry, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm appreciating this. I'm like taking this in. That's so fucking like, that's so good. This is so good, man. God damn. There's like so much about this game that's like kind of brilliant. And that's like some shit right there, right? I spent all this time in headspace with these RPG mechanics, literally slicing demons and monsters and ghosts and shit. And, and then I'm like getting to real life. Oh, we're getting in a fight. Uh, pull out my fucking knife. I'm a Karen. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. 91 damage. Oh, fuck. What the hell, son? You just stabbed Aubrey? I, I, I didn't mean- Oh my god, God! Me, me. Oh. Right. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get you out of here! Ugh! I'll get you back for this! Knife wins against Bat every time. You know, if you get the- if, As long as they don't get the drop on you. I like she just rode off after that. Whoa, that was about to get really messy. Sonny, what the hell is that? Why are you carrying a knife around? I don't know. It just makes me feel good. Is that all right, Kale? Is there a problem with that? No, no. I'm just, I'm just, uh, no. I'm, I'm, uh, uh, Basil, are you okay? Because then you had your knife there. Or we would have. Wait a second. Give me that. Kale took away your stick. No, no. You better give me that back. You shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Sonny. That's dangerous. Oh my God. Look how responsible my little boy is now. God damn it. He's a grown ass man now. <sighs> I wish really changed the last R. Yeah, clearly. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm thinking then, okay, so then she was probably very clearly affected by all this. And I mean, she's just going through a fucking rebellious phase, but it, potential death of Mari had probably had a contribution to this, right? Basil's clearly not dead, so that's not it. I swear to God, Mari walks out, of, like, just comes out of the bushes or some thing randomly, like, I'm alive too. I'm going to be pissed, all right? I'm going I'm, to I'm be like, okay, well, I was just wrong, 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 wrong. Her and your friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Poor Basil. Okay. 
Hold on. I just want to check around. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, Basil. Hey, Basil. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you, Cal. It's so weird to see you with blonde hair and not blue hair. And demon eyes. I don't know if you noticed, but Sonny's here, too. Say hi, Sonny. Oh. Hey, Sonny. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. Woohoo! What a happy reunion. So, do you want to hang out with us today? Uh, oh. I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I... I should probably head home. Huh? R really? Are you sure? My... My grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's, let's at least walk you home. It's been so long since we all hang, hung out. Oh, all right then. Thank you. <sighs> He's not in my party though. Okay, where does he live? Um, were you guys just gonna drop me off? Oh, I can't. I can't go talk to anybody. Okay, where do you live? I've gotten all the houses. Did I, did I actually run into your parents at some point? Oh no, the grandma. Oh, oh my God. The grandma, that's his grandma. Who's the other guy? Some fucking weirdo? Like his father? It's on the way to Basil's house. Remember Sonny? It's this on the street that's diagonal from ours in the crosswalk. Wait, isn't that where the old lady was though? Oh, maybe it's not that one then. Oh, oh, it's probably the house that had all the flowers outside of it. Wait, so my, my steak knife is gone? <laughs> Hands, these are all you have. My hand, my fapping hand. Oh, it totally is. There's Basil's house. It's the one, I went with the green roof. Um, thanks for rocking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything for me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Uh, okay. Wait, please don't go. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil, what do you need? Well, you see, something important was taken from me. His camera? What? We used to be friends. Do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Yeah. Of course I remember. This photo's meant everything to you. Ah, uh, right. Well, Aubrey, she took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album? That fucking bitch. Oh, God, this is bringing back some memories. Oh, I'm remembering how much I hate that fucking slut. She's gonna die. She's gonna die, Basil. I'll kill her for you. Just give me the word. I'll kill her for you. Okay, calm down. Calm down. I didn't mean like that. Get Kel, please. Please take it down if you're not. Just no. No, that bitch needs to die. She, her reign of terror and said, hey, please. I just want my foot off the back. I'm over here sharpening my knife. I got it back. Yeah, just say the word. Just say the word, Basil. Oh my God. Why am I the demon? I don't understand. I just, you guys are the crazy ones. Well, she, she won't give it back. What a scumbag. Don't you worry about a thing, Basil. Don't you worry about a thing. Me and Sonny got you covered. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Basil does look pretty kind of fucked up, though. <laughs> fucked up inside. By the way, about what you said before, we're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Aw. Oh, my God. Kellis, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, you're right. Kellis would be like a little mischievous... Little mischievous dude. I guess in some ways he maybe still is, but holy shit, he turned into like a, a sweetheart like hero in a lot of ways, right? Probably helped that he had a brother like him. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Aw. Come on, Sonny, there's no time to lose. We got, got a photo album to find. Let's check Faraway Park for clues. I kind of want to check up on him. Hmm. No one's answering. Hey, Basil's in the bathroom or something? That's okay. We can catch up him later. Come on, Sonny. We got a photo album to find. Huh. He didn't look very happy when Kel said that. He just, he didn't, it wasn't like he smiled about that. It's just kind of like, okay. I'm thinking potentially he still feels, he still feels abandoned. Right? Maybe. I think that's why he sort of reacted like that. And he just said, okay. 
Because I, I think he's like, that's bullshit, Kel, and you know it. Like, because Kel's clearly become quite popular, right? He's good at sports. He's every school loves him, and Basil is probably maybe a bit more of an outcast or a bit more of an introvert and a loner. Interesting. I think he seems like he's a little bit more comfortable around Sunny, actually, because I think I think that's partially why maybe Sunny's imagining him maybe to. Even to Sonny, Basil's more of like a a person that he's like like him as well, right? Both of them maybe are trying to shut away the the feelings of what happened in the past. Well, regardless, all right, regardless, I'm just happy that Basil isn't dead. If he does maybe end up being a, a demon lord or a bad influence or something, I don't know. Okay, so then the question comes to me then what was what was the noose? What was the fucking noose on the tree? What was the the uh, guy tr cutting the tree down saying, you are not my son? What the fuck was that all about? Like, what other meaning to that would there be? I'm like, God damn, I really thought that was like, oh, that had to be it. Babe was fucking dead. Damn, the Aubrey's turned to the fucking dark side. And next time we fight her, I'm gonna have to use my hands. Pretty boy. Life is kind of stressful, but people that watch out here helps me put things in perspective. I might make no habit to come to this park more often. Guess sometimes all it takes is relax, stop, and smell the roses. Hey, is that pet rock? I have one too. Do you want clash? You want slam? All right, let's do our best. Go, Rose Lad, I believe in you. Are you ready to slam? Oh, shit. Kawaii. Everyone starts off with the rocks. So I'm going to go ahead and do paper. <gasps> oh, shit. He took advantage of that. Uh, all right, rock. Damn it! He's too good. Okay. We know it was a good battle, but you need a little more practice. We did it, Rose Lad. You're the best. Okay. I, th I think the patterns, from what I saw at least before, they were all the same. So, so start with the rock then. Yep. Boom, and then, uh, and then he did paper. So scissors. Gotcha. Ha ha. Bruce Ladd, are you okay? There, there, you take a good rest now. Ha, that was fun. Thanks for challenging me. I guess I need to retrain Rose Ladd a little bit more. Oh no, you like your hurt. Here's the bandage. You can get more at the pharmacy in the other mart. Oh, thanks, dude. Oh yeah, I guess Kelly's is kind of, ow, I did kind of get bashed in the fucking knee with a baseball bat, that bitch. Ah, fuck, ah. Missy's diligently sketching away. Hey, we got a whole bunch of trash for you. Seven dollars, Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty, what are you doing on the monkey bars? Meow. Mr. Kitty, get down from there. It's very dangerous. Meow. Mr. Kitty, I won't tell you this again. Mr. Kitty, get down there. Meow. Hey, Bob, spare a few nickels. Really appreciate it. There, it's 10 bucks. Are you sure you want to donate? Sure. You donate $10 to Smelly Hobo. Thank you kindly. Hey, Bob, thanks for helping me. You've been a real friend. So, I got something special for you. Hold out your hands for me and close your eyes. If you have something cold on your hand, palm your hand. See, you feel like your wallet got taken out of your pocket. You open your eyes, he's gone. Fuck! I got a gold watch? You like it? It's been so great, I thought I could spare you some of my wares. <laughs> That's real gold there, I swear. Totally not real gold. A shiny, a not shiny item for your wrist. Ah, huh. wow, cool. How you like your new gold watch? Real gold, I tell you. Cool, all right, wow. Uh, I saw, I, I, wait, is this really, what? Is it real gold? Before the other, in the, in Headspace, when I got the fake one, it was like, this is not real gold. Well, regardless, it's probably worth more than 10 bucks. Did you steal this off somebody? You probably could have sold this for more money than what I gave you, sir, but thank you. Oh, buy some apple juice? Sure. I can actually buy shit from you guys now. Yes, yeah, drink it, you'll enjoy it. All right, I'll give it to, uh... I'll give it to Kel. Apparently better than orange juice. Apple juice is truly made from the ripest of apples. It didn't even heal him! I'm still in pain. I'll buy another one. Actually, now I think about it, then I should go buy orange juice from the other guy. Oh, he threw away my apple juice, so I spent $2 on it! Ha, that'll show him. I'll buy orange juice instead. But I paid for that. Maybe this will heal Kel. 
George is truly made from the freshest of oranges. Nope, I'm still bleeding out. Oh, why'd you think Oshie would heal my wounds, Sonny? This isn't your fucking headspace in the hospital! So Oshie over there? That's garbage! Don't drink that stuff! Ugh. The ray orange juice. Ta, oh, that'll show him! God damn it. Okay, that's fine. God damn it. You guys suck. I spent two dollars on that. How dare you? At least I got my orange Joe. Hey, do you like still like orange Joe? I love it. Uh, orange and coffee is a questionable flavor that I love, but I'm also not healed. I hope you know that. Oh, hello. <laughs> ah, it's a beautiful day. I don't have any money, but at least sunlight is free. <laughs> anyway, lad, could you spare me some change during this hard time? Sure, dude. Did to the other guy. You have currently donated $10 to Old Hobo. He's gonna be sure to pay you back somehow. He's <laughs> gotta just keep donating money to him or something. Yep. Oh, shit. So I can give money to him. I can give money to the... Oh, that's right. I can give money to the other guy, too. I wonder how much money he needs to... Here, take my money. Oh, hey. It's starting to fill up. Yes, yeah, so get closer to get my ticket out of here. Thank you. Or actually, here, thank you. Return. I'll play you. I'll play your original song. Nah, it's good. It's fine. It's just the same song. I see the tree shaking. Hmm, looks like Aubrey's in here. That bitch. Oh, wait, I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil. We need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? Is Charlie like Vance, sort of? It was it Vance, I believe? Oh! Oh, hey, it's that uh, puzzle kid from my uh, headspace. Yeah. Maybe like Vance, like big, strong, big, strong, gentle giant. Who, wait, 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 what'd you do that for? Nah, nah. Yeah, it, yeah, it isn't Kelly, uh, that, that weird knife guy. Yeah, we're the adversaries of the great and mighty Angel. Finally, it's time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I'll tell you what I know. But first, you must best me in battle. Battle, but I don't, I don't want to punch a kid. <laughs> he won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on, let's sick him, Charlie. Charlie. Uh oh. Oh my God. Okay, so that's the interesting. Very different here. In the in, the, in my headspace, there's just some dude who likes puzzles. I think at least based his sprite was sort of based on that one. I like <laughs> that guy's so big we can't even see his face. Unless this is supposed to be Burly, and yeah, I think what I said before that the other one would be Vance. That's that actually actually I think that might be right. I think this might be Burly, even though Burly had glasses. This guy's just yeah. All right, I guess I'll just punch you then. Encourage me. Ow. Chuck a basketball at him. Charlie punches. Oh, it does one damage. That's cute. You see Angel's putting everything he's got in there. Charlie's just kind of like, whatever, right? You surprised me, Kel. You would make a worthy arrival of my master. He's holding back, clearly. He's just like, okay. He's just working with it. Gentle giant. Charlie is standing there. You, you pay for this. How could this be? My training was all for nothing. Fuck, I don't know if I... Well, I keep thinking, this was Burly. No, this one's Burly. This was Burly? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Fuck it. I'm just going to go with the voice I'm, sticking, I'm doing right now. Ow, my head hurts. You're the one who started, you idiot. You bully! <sighs> okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. His name's not even similar, though, to what Burly is. So it's like, it's not like his name's Angel and then it was Angle. We beat you and Charlie, and neither is Vance. Char Charlie and Vance, not that close. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. <laughs> a promise is a promise, I suppose. Maybe it's like a mixture of things, you know? In my head. 
So like not just one, but like multiple people put together. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. Truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in faraway town. Probably. Take it, Angel. You better not be messing around or else. I told you, I'll tell you what I know. And the truth is, I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now. Or else I'll tell everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. But, huh? You, what? You can't do that. That's cheating. Anyway, I really don't know. But you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. Th the Maverick? Oh, no. You mean that weird kid, Mikkel? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see. Oh, God, new Kel expression. So, it is him. Where can I find me? I mean, the Maverick. I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to fight me first. Or I can tell everyone about the time. Yeah! We already fought, by the way. Okay, fine. I'll, uh, I'll talk. Master went to the fountain in the faraway plaza. He said he was going to meet some, some girls there for a, a date or something. Ugh. Disgusting. Come on, Sonny. Let's go to Faraway Plaza. I think we're done here. Okay. Charlie says nothing. Is this, like, hidden somewhere? Like, I'm almost worried that there's, like, some secret area I'm missing here. Statue in the middle of the lake. I need to, like, check all the edges of the fucking woods here. <sighs> I'm not finding anything. I don't know. Maybe it'll, it'll come up. Uh, maybe it's a mandatory thing. It'll come up later. Okay, who the fuck is this supposed to be? Uh, what in the fuck? Oh, shit. The Maverick. Oh, shit. Maverick. And then I told him, it's not Maverick. It's the Maverick. Oh, the Maverick. You're so funny. Uh, what a basic story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please. It's not for me to go around. Mikhail, what are you doing? Ugh. If it isn't Kel, my arch nemesis, I'm finally here to meet defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikkel. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? Stop calling me that. I cast away that name a long time ago. Mikkel, do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name. Don't dare you make a fool out of me. I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Please, Mikkel, don't do this to yourself. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Fight me, you wad! Don't be a chicken! <sighs> really gonna do this? Okay, then. Come on, Sonny. Here's your knife back, by the way. Sweet. Let's take him down. Never mind. It's still an RPG. The ma- Oh, Kel, you pitiful fool! You don't stand a chance against the Maverick! Damn, look at this guy. He's so beautiful. I think, he's, I, think I see a single hair on his chest beneath his unbuttoned shirt. Wow. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Stab. Uh, uh. Oh, he's actually got a decent amount of health. Uh, okay. Oh, interesting. Snacks are like... Do snacks even do anything now? But I think he's definitely going to need something a bit stronger than that. I've got a band-aid. Kel feels angry. Ugh. Oh, fucking Maverick. I'm so... I mean, fucking... Mikkel, goddammit, it got me saying it. I'm so fucking pissed off. You must die. Ow. Yeah. Ah, uh, I just did a little damage without my knife. Not bad. This, this fight's just getting started. They're just getting started. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Ah, oh, shit, I missed. I think I need a first aid kit. Ah. Ow. Hey, as expected, my rival, but I must tell you why you are fooling around and playing sports. I was holding my techniques just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. Ah. This guy. Ow. Ow. Basketballs aren't allowed. Is that all you got? I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form. 
I bet you're regretting your decision now. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. Damn, who's this fucking... This fucking tryhard. Uh, it's only a uh, matter of time before you tire yourselves out. My victory is imminent. Shut up and die. Uh, I'll admit, I'm impressed. You're still light years away from defeating me. I, oh, he's, just, he's just going after Kel. Uh, uh, no, it's impossible. Improbable. Absolutely inconceivable. The greatest and greatest preposterous. Farewell, Mikael. Return to the darkness from whence they came. <laughs> yeah, no. We'll let it end like this. No, it can't be over for me. People of Earth. Oh, God. Let me your strength. Share your energy with me. Yeah! Ew, what's with this guy? So lame. Ew! Is it worth ten dollars? Get out of here! Oh shit, ten bucks? Fuck! I, I knew it. I was like, I was like, what the hell? What are these girls doing? Hanging out with? Oh, they, he, he bribed them. That's why. Whatever. See you later, bitch. Ladies, please come back. Yeah, I have more money. Oh, he lost his wig. Mikal, there is no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell us where Aubrey is and we'll go. Please, I don't want to talk to you anyway. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is and I'll tell you. On one condition. You must call me by my true name, the map. I oh, forget it. Let's go find, find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are... Are major sugarheads. So, wait. Wait, Vance was the... I'm so confused. Vance was the other one, right? Kim and Vance. Yeah, I think it was just like a combination. Was, was it Vance? Who was the one? I, th I thought his name, their name was Vance, the big one. Major sugarhead. So, I have a hunch they'll probably be somewhere near Candy. <laughs> Wow, that boy with the blonde wig is so cool. Wish I had his confidence. No, it's not the lesson to be learned from this. Okay, I need to go to a hospital, seriously. Do I get a free heal at the uh, pharmacy here? Gotta hope so, because I'm bleeding out. Uh, I guess we just buy stuff and heal ourselves. He yeah, I guess that's it. It's still like resting or whatever. Ah, oh, better. Probably over here in the supermarket then. Hmm, none came in advance. They're probably somewhere around here. Oh, hey, there she is. No, this is actually Burly and them, isn't it? I don't remember there being a big guy hanging out with the puzzle kid. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just thinking about this shit too much. I'm pretty sure that's fucking Burly. And then the other one is actually going to be the big guy. Hurry, Vance! Shove it all in our pockets for someone sees us! All right, found Burly, at least. <laughs> hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey and any... Shoot, it's a nerd kill! Come on, Vance, we gotta go! Well, hold on. I don't think you pay for those. Get out of the way, nerd! You don't know me! Hey, hey, hold on. I'm not here to snitch. I just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I don't know anything about that. If I did, I wouldn't tell you. Does Vance not talk either? <sighs> I've had enough of this for today. Kim, yeah, let's make a deal. You tell where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. Oh, God. Here comes Sweetheart. She's going to murder us. Please say word, snitch. And I don't need to be... I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again. I thought I told you never to come back in here. Smiley, smiley. Uh-oh. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you, kids. Smiley, smiley. We've been busted. Fine. Here's your stupid candy! Come on, Vance! Get out of this dump! Okay. No, that's just... That's... 
I think we have a lot of, we seem to have a lot of dynamics of smaller bossy one and bigger silent giant one. Ha, serves you right. Uh oh. Wait, how will we find out where Aubrey is now? <sighs> Come on, Sonny, let's follow them. Oh, hey. Oh, hello there. Um, I see you're a bit care about rocks. Soon you want to clash. Have you know us veterans are a bit tougher than your normal players? Yes. Okay, come on, uh, Oko Taco. Show what it means to be a veteran. I wonder if mine evolves or changes at all. It kind of doesn't seem like it. I'm just stuck with my little weenie thing. Oh my god. Scissors. Bitch. Bitch. Good effort. You fell well, but I've been clashing alongside Octato for years. Just keep pressing. You'll get better. I promise. All right. Paper. Oh, hey. She changed it. She switched to paper that time. Scissors. Uh-oh. Uh. He's going to switch to rocks. I'm going to switch to paper now. Probably. No, don't want your paper. Fuck. Uh, gotcha. Shit. Okay, this one doesn't seem to go in a set pattern as much. Fucker. Damn it. Ah, oh, shit. You start with rock. Okay, yeah, this, it's, this one seems to be totally random. Die. There we go. Eat shit. Wait, lost? Wow, I'm really shocked. I guess Shopkeeper was right to send you to us. You seem to have a lot of potential. I'm sure you'll go far. Oh, I see. It was actually referring to the people in here. I think I misunderstood. I, I the far you said far away plaza, didn't they? I I thought they meant uh the park. Hold up, one sec, Sonny. I think we have an idea. Do you buy some candy? Sorry for the hold up. Let's catch catch up to Kim and Vance. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No, not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're going to die. Huh? Just go home. I'm gonna be late for dinner. Wait, Kim. I have something for you. You get killed? What the heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is, and I'll give you this whole big bag of candy. Holy fuck. Really? The whole bag? I mean, wait. You can't buy us off with candy. What do you take us for? Who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We have, haven't had candy for an entire week. And there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. I wonder, is one of these kids, uh, maybe Vance? Is he like the child of that one person that was handing out candy? Can you at least ask if he has any taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. We go to Dad's house. We'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay. I'll do for you, sis. No. Okay. No, they're related. No, no, no. The, the, we, we already went to their house and they were... She had a picture. I actually remember uh, Kim here had a picture. It was actually with Aubrey. So it was just... It wasn't like they were related. They were the two kids. It was her friend Aubrey. Kim, Vance, I'm waiting. I'm going to eat this shit right in front of you and laugh while I do it. Ha! Like waiting some candy for a bunch of nerds! Oh, man, really? I'm sure that would work. It's a waste of time. Let's get out of here. See you later, losers. W wait. Please, Kim. You're the only lead we got. Please take the big bag of candy. We we even have taffy in here. Did someone say taffy? I see. That changes everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, the hardcore music. Here we go. Fine. Really want to do that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists. What the hell? Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm just fighting the kids anyway. It's still an RPG. If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you give us a bag of taffy. Never talk to us again. Ever again. Wait a second. There's no need to fight. You just tell me where she is. I'll give you the whole bag, you idiots. What? I want to fight. Come on, put him up, you two. Orange is right out here. <laughs> the sky over. Orange guy's gonna watch us. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna riff for you guys. This is apparently totally normal in this town. It's time to duke it out. <sighs> What's up with you guys and fighting? God, well, I guess we have no choice. 
Get ready to eat basketball, bitch. Come on, Sonny. You know the drill. Give me my knife. No. Give me the knife. Oh my God, look at Vance smoking a cigarette. I'll show you the sizes and everything. I'm not about to lose to nerds like you. Nerds. Calm the fuck, calm the fuck down, bitch. Uh, is this actually, okay, no. I can only do this to myself. All right, encourage me. Not much else I can really do. Don't have a lot of skills to work with here. Kim's phone ring is the wrong number. Ah! Oh, beat the shit out of you. I will hit a girl. I don't give a shit. Killing your butt. Ah! Damn, they people just love beating the shit out of Kel. Ow, oh, why me? God, Sonny's over there too, you know. Your face annoys me. Uh, uh, yeah. Grumble, grumble, grumble. You're still nerds. Ah, <laughs> oh, still me? Seriously, dude? Come on. Yeah. Please don't hit me. Ah, oh, you missed. All right. All right. I need the first date again. Ah. Uh. Ow. I seriously, why do they just... They, everyone just wants to attack Kel and not Sunny. Does everyone just feel bad for Sunny? Like, I, I don't want to beat up Sunny. Ouch, that hurt. That really actually makes me wonder then, who the hell was Charlie? I guess, I mean, I, I feel like I get the other guy was the puzzle dude. Who the fuck was Charlie then? I don't remember like another big dude aside from Vance. I also swear that he has the exact same name that he had in uh, fucking Headspace. It, that was just, it was literally Vance. Da yeah, damn, Sonny, just, his buff wore off. He does not do a lot of damage without that buff. Dang, all I wanted was some coffee. Brrr. Grumble, 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 grumble. Ah, can't believe we lost. We can never let Opry know about this. Come on, Kim. We gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner. Mom's getting really mad we're late. Shoot, let's get out of here. Wait, where do you think you're going? We won, so you need to tell us where Opry is. Oh, yeah, that's right. Opry's in the church. The one near their house. Huh? Opry said, church? What? She doesn't, but she doesn't believe in God. She only believes in murder. Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. Also, she asked who told you. Tell her it wasn't me. Say it was a killer or something. Come on, Kim. We got a scoot. You know mom gets more late. Yeah, yeah. Here you Let's go. Fine. See you later, nerds. Nerds. Ah, oh, nuts. I took the big bag came while I wasn't looking. Fuck! Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh, well. At least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least I think we do. I can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe it when I see it. Okay, so the, the time of day change? It still seems to be the same. Also, we gotta, we gotta do battle with this guy. Oh, hey, it's a pet rock you have there. If you're here, then that must mean you know about the veterans of Faraway Plaza. Shopkeep sent you, and that means we must be pretty good. Yeah. Well, here I am. Surprise. My real title is Gino Clasher of Jash. Would you like to challenge me to a clash? In that case, I, Gino, one of the four veterans of Faraway Plaza, will show you what it means to be a real pro. Let's get him, little G. Little G in the house. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, my God. Moshe dude. All right, here we go. I'm going to slap you. Fuck. Ow! After that, I'm gonna punch you. Damn it! Do it again. You motherfucker! I fucking hate you. Fuck you. Fuck. God damn it. Fuck you, Mushurige. Yeah, we did a little date. Hell, well, you can't win them all. You tried, and that's what matters. Shut up. Shut up and fight me again, bitch. Yeah, this was clearly just totally random. RNG. Die, asshole. Ugh. Lil G! No! Lil G speak to me! Oh, wait. You can't do that. You can't do that, can you? Well, that was a real doozy. Congrats on your end, though. Challenger, you and your pet rock did great. Maybe some of the other veterans will give you more of a fight. In hell. Yeah, so you're showing off your pet rock there. I don't know about my pet rock during work hours, but you must really be good at the shop you say you. Ready for a real challenge? 
It's one of the four veterans of Farid Plaza I have a reputation to uphold. If you're asking for a clash, won't be going down so easily. Bring it on, bitch. Oh my god, he's got a fucking pterodactyl. He's got clavierodactyl. Ah, fuck. Eat it one more time. Brrr! No way, it's just some sort of mistake. But Terry, how could you lose? <laughs> Pete Terry. <sighs> Whatever, back to work it is. Okay. Uh, I saw the guys in the shops, which actually made me think that the fourth and final one is going to be the actual uh, shopkeeper of hobbies. Just betting. Yep. Ah, Sonny, you've come. I've heard from the other vendors that you've already defeated them. That's, yes, that's right. I said, other veterans. Behold, it was me all along. By the time I finally reveal myself, I'm Shopkeep, the strongest veteran of Faraway Plaza. It's really impressive, Sonny. In this short amount of time, you managed to beat the best in our area. Except me, Sonny. Must attest to your strength myself. You're going to fight me here, right here, right now. Yes. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. Let us clash! Let's slam! Damn, I saw some Babe Lake out come out. What up, Sonny? Yes, yeah, Rouse. Right. I'm the lead of this fucking area. You ready to slay? Oh my god, he's fucking 90s S. Yes. Ultimate fight. I'm so fucking ready. I'm gonna punch it. Damn it. Our attacks deflected off each other. Paper. Must defeat cool 90s S. Damn it! Ah! Fuck. Ah. Ah. I'm gonna scissor you bet. I'm gonna scissor you so good. Ah, do it again. Scissor that motherfucker. Damn it. Oh, wait. Yeah. Damn it again. Uh, rock. I can see a face on the ass, too. Oh, yeah. Ah. Okay, I can't fucking get hit now. Not today. I can't die here. No. That was... Truly a splendid battle, Sonny. You and Jash fought with all your strength, but alas, I am vi reigning victorious. But still, I must congratulate you. You have done well to come this far. I think it's about time you and Jash had a good long rest. No. Not today. It can't end like this. I guess my old Jash just never levels up. I need more health. How did you guys get so buff? Damn it. Yes! <laughs> oh, wait. No, I'm not one yet. All I've been doing is paper again and again. Come on. Do rock again. Yeah! What am I doing paper? Only paper. Ha ha! I've learned from I've learned for the first fight I did. I learned from fighting against uh, against Kel. The best thing to do is just do the same move again and again. Amazing! You're really amazing, Sonny. You made me better then. No, never mind. I may have already said too much. Oh shit! You're not the ultimate one. Surprise for your victory. Take this. Nostalgic CD. Yeah. I'll also there's one veteran Fiery Plaza who's stronger than me. So I'm saying she may even be the strongest uh, clasher in the entire world, but. She's elusive and keeps our identity a mystery. Though, I'm sure if you found her now, she would be able to sense your strength as I have. If you choose to seek her out, you may regret it, but I won't be the one to stop you. Just be wary. She's truly a force to be reckoned with. You have been warned. Oh, fuck. Is it gonna be fucking, like, sweetheart? Sweetheart candy lady? Uh... Okay, maybe not. The meat lady? Oh my god, or a fish lady. Holy shit. Hello! Other Martin Lady glares at your pet rock. I see, so time is coming, so have I. You come here, you die now. Oh, fuck, we just do it. Oh, God. Oh, my God, one winged angel, Jash. Oh, shit. He's like me, but better in every way. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm terrified. Starts playing, starts playing one winged angel. Learn, do, use what you learned. Just keep using that same move again and again. Oh, no, it didn't work. Oh, she's too strong. Oh, I died. No. This says nothing. We just, just go. Do it. Fight me, bitch. Okay, I never thought I would see a Jash this powerful. If only my Jash could be that le that level. Come on. I'm gonna kill you, lady. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, this fucking bitch. Oh my god, I hate you so much. Yes. Keep doing scissors. Build up my combo. Damn it. No, you bitch. God damn it. Bro, I think I'm just better off just sticking to one thing. 
One thing and just doing it again and again. Literally is what seems to work every time. I hate you so much. Fuck you. Oh, I... This bitch is fucking input reading my shit, all right? Fuck you. I swear to God she is. Fuck. It's just like, what the fuck, man? God damn it. One more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Oh, just doing paper again and again. Wins again. <laughs> okay, you win. Take this. You, you, you king now. You got to You rock out. Good job. The very best. I did it, guys. Hello. You want to fish? You want fish now? Do it. Take this. You do. Do now, D Dooley. All right, I bought the fish. A lot of money now. A cat's favorite food is it now? Oh my God, Mr. Kitty, can I can I befriend Mr. Kitty? All right, I think that means I can probably take the the pet rock off then and put on my Chimera keychain. Actually, over the you rock cap. A prestigious cap bestowed upon the pet rock champion. 100% cotton. That'd be hilarious if it changed my sprite and I had the cap on. Okay, it doesn't look like anything's actually changed here. All right, going to church. Oh wait, 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 Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty. I got fish for you, Mr. Kitty. Meow. I don't know, maybe I'll need that at some point. There was another cat, but I can't seem to interact him on the monkey bars. That cat who likes to live dangerously. Oh, there's her bike. Aubrey's old blue bike. She's here. Well, here we are. This really is the last place I expect her. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. Her bike's over there, Kel. She's here. I'll open the door a little bit and take a peek. Mm hmm. Looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she's on the right. Hmm. She's just sitting there. Menacingly! All normal. So weird. Yeah, I feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon is over or something. Oh, come on. No, we're busting in there. No, we're busting in there now. Fuck this. Oh. So this is like the same church that we saw a little bit of in uh, uh, in the headspace as well as well at one point. I think it was actually I think it was down in black space. Whoa! I didn't say you just walk in like that, Sonny. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, man, be real quiet. Shouldn't disturb the others during the sermon. Only Aubrey, that bitch. So there's the family up front who we saw walking. There she is on the right. Let's walk to the pew behind her. Wait. Oh, I can't, I can't go further. Okay. Aubrey. Psst. Aubrey. <laughs> Look at her face. What the? What the heck are you guys doing here? We want you to get back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that? It's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business? Yeah, Kel. Exactly. We used to be friends. You know, Mario would be really sad to hear that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, she's dead. <laughs> there we go. I mean, it was pretty fucking obvious at this point. There was like already like she was like literally in a coffin at some point, but you know, maybe it was a metaphor. No, she's dead. Okay, good. Kel said it. We're good. Really said to hear that. <laughs> really? You really want to bring Mari into this? Who cares what Mari thinks? Mari's dead. Mari's fucking dead. No, that was the direct enough, Kel. I'm just going to say it. Mari's fucking dead. And you killed her, Sonny. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? Also, seriously, in front of Sunny? Like, holy shit. I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is all about. When Mari passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. I think it's also simple. You've always been simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you could just steal it. 
Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? This photo, that photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. Ugh, you're so persistent. When Mark died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Gil. A lot changes in four years. You and Sonny think you can just barge into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so na naive! You might look different and act different, Aubrey. You're still the same person. Huh. The Aubrey you knew is long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want here, I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mari. No, I won't accept this. Wait, where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise you'll give Basil his photo album back, you thief. <laughs> Everyone looking at us. What's happening? Basil? Is that the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully. Now she's stealing as well? Oh. Ips. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Kel? And I'm the big bad bully. Here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with a psychopath that cares around a knife. Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick or I'll come at you first. Here in the church of God. Oh, fuck. Here we go. I'm still pissed, by the way. Oh, shit. Me going the fuck in. Time to die today, bitch. Okay, but seriously, can I have my knife back? Oh, my God. Uh. Look, her clothing is completely inappropriate for church. Oh, shit. Ow. That did some fucking damage. Need a first aid kit. Okay, that's better. Ow! Can't believe she would bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. I got a basketball, bitch! Why are you here? Ow. What is the link with Slick they're doing? This place is a place of worship. All out of healing. Might have to guard. Yeah, oh God. I'm just gonna keep punching her. Someone needs to stop them. Where are their parents? I don't know if any of this is gonna heal me. I don't think it will. So I'm just gonna keep attacking. Ugh. Ah, blacked out. Why? Why now? There was the threat to this neighborhood. There's no hope for sinners like her. Come on. Ow. Uh. Where's that should be trouble? The pastor should. Oh, damn it. I skipped over that. <sighs> Stay calm and try not to die. Children these days have no respect. Hope kids don't turn out like her. God damn it. I can't do anything. Ah, uh, Sonny, you can do this. I believe in you. Uh, no, I'm dead. Huh. Serves you right, Kill. Now, leave me alone. Oh, it didn't end. No, fuck this, though. I want to I wanna win this shit. No, fuck you. We're doing this again. Ah, shit. I don't know if I get more money to get more healing items. I don't know if I can sell anything. And I can't do my job again. I thought I could, actually. Shit. Damn it, I should have given away so much of my money. Those dirty, smelly hobos. Fuck. I might be screwed, actually. I don't know if there's any way I can actually sell... Sell to get money. Well, okay, I can get... I can get... 
I can get band-aids. That's good. It only, those only cost a dollar. Okay, I think it's, that should be all I need then. All right, round two, bitch. Let's go. God, just so much damage. Fuck. He just did over half his health. I almost wonder if it's... I wonder if I can keep encouraging uh, Sunny and it would actually, like, just keep raising his attack power. Kind of curious. It can't go any higher. Okay, clearly no. Ow. Aubrey spits on your shoe. Good. Waste your turn. That's fine. Uh. Uh. Forget it. Too are worth my time. There we go. Do you think he said the pastor should have thrown her out a long time ago? I think I think that's what it said. Ever since her father left, she's so uncontrollable. Disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Oh. Shoot. She's been kind of messed up lately. I still feel sorry for her. This is a bad idea. Hi. It's about time that girl ran off. Now maybe all of my friends will be able to will come back to church again. Oh no, look, those are the those are the uh the, the Pillsbury Doe children. Our family comes to church once a week, sometimes twice, sometimes thrice. Oh uh My bad, Pastor. Hmm. I usually wouldn't condone fighting in the middle of a sermon, but that seemed really important. That girl Aubrey has come here every week for the past few years, but she never talks to anyone. I've tried to approach her a few times, but she keeps calling me. Yeah, bad things. <laughs> she seems very troubled. Perhaps she could use a friend. Grand piano. It doesn't say a Mori on it, does it? Oh, hey, I can go in the back here. The cemetery. Flowers. Headstone. <gasps> Puzzle pieces. Mari's going to be here somewhere, right? Old beardy. It's not pretty quiet, isn't it? You can't hear hustle and bustle the streets here, though. The only thing here, yeah, wandering spirits. Oh, uh, it may cause. Well, what's that look? I ain't dead yet. Ha <laughs> ha Teddy bear. Where you at, Mari? Oh, are you the big one here in the center? The sim- Oh, no. The symbol of faraway town. It's supposed to represent a gateway to a better life. You remember learning about it in class when you were in elementary school, but you can't remember all the details. Oh, that's definitely going to be the one with the light on it and also the orchid. The white egret, a white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Our dear Mari, the sun shined brighter when she was here. Mari, it feels like so long ago already. I still think about her all the time. I'm sure you do too. You know, when Mari passed away, Hero, Hero really stopped caring about everything. Uh-oh. He didn't want to get out of bed for school or even eat. He stopped care taking care of himself, stopped baking and cooking. It was like that for almost a year. Mom and Dad didn't know what to do either. We all tried to help him, be supportive, but nothing was really working. One night, I went over to him while he was all huddled in his blankets and started saying stuff. Stuff like how we all miss him and how we want him to get better. How everyone is really worried. How Mari wouldn't want to see him like this. I thought I was helping him, but... Hero, Hero got angry. He suddenly got up and started screaming and yelling at me about a bunch of stuff. Some of it was pretty hurtful too. But I think I blocked out a lot of it out. His eyes were already super red. But the more he yelled at me, the harder he cried. I tried my best to calm him down. But whatever I said just made him worse. I've never seen Hero do anything close to that before. It really took me by surprise. And I was so scared that... Well, I start crying too. Eventually, mom and dad ran into our room and rushed over to hug him and calm him down. But they completely ignored me. Yeah, <laughs> aw. I think that's where Hero got his senses back because he ran to me and hugged me right away. Just kept apologizing over and over. But at least Hero got a lot, a lot better after that. He started taking care of himself again and focusing on school a lot more. And joining a bunch of extracurricular stuff. He's naturally good at everything, but he still works really hard. So I'm proud of him. Guess he's a little more closed off now than he used to be, but... I'm just really glad to have my brother back. Anyway, sorry for the long story. 
don't think I've ever told anyone that before. It's not his fault, but I still think Hero blames himself for Mari's death. Hero's never visited here. Not even once. I know it really hurts, but maybe it be, might be good for him. I don't know. Aw. Yeah, I imagine it did hit Hero probably pretty hard, considering it seems like the he and Mario were truly uh, digging on each other. He feels like he could be at fault. Interesting. I imagine everybody sort of feels that way, right? Huh, interesting. This one doesn't have a, a, a headstone reaction. They, pr they probably just missed a spot. I think this old man is stuck in the corner. I like everyone's still looking to the side. Guys, we walked out a while ago. Good Lord. Let it go. I just wanted to my, spend my day off in peace. You whippersnappers. You psycho fucks. I reserve my judgment. The Lord will be the one to judge you, bitch. Whatever. Don't make me stab you. Well, your man is off prowling off about like that. You should be ashamed. Pretty song. I don't know why, but it gives, gives me kind of Final Fantasy VIII village vibes. <laughs> hmm. Okay, this is clearly a change in the time of day, right? So that means I gotta go back and talk to everybody. Rest, guess I'll try again tomorrow. Yeah, boy. Oh. So that's her house, huh? That's her tossing out the photo album, right? Did you see that? Aubrey just dumped something into her trash can. Let's go check it out. Oh, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. Can't believe she would throw, throw it out like that. It's a good thing we look through the tra his, this trash can. On the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now. And it only took us half a day, too. Damn it. I wish their house is kind of a little uh, on the shabby side, isn't it? I do kind of wonder what Aubrey's, like, home situation is like, right? Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sonny? Do it. Do you want a high five, Kel? Fuck yeah. Yeah! Up high. Let's get us back to Basil before it gets dark. I'd be so happy when he sees it. Do I want to high five? Why did he even ask me that shit? Do you wish to high five your son? Yes. <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. Can I look at it? Basil's most precious belonging. Oh, I can. Use. <gasps> Amori playing the violin. It is like so, and we see we saw Mari playing the violin as well. This is during Christmas. Uh, my first photo is my best friend Sonny trying out his new violin. He started to take lessons again so he could play at recitals with his sister, Mari. So exciting. Ah! <laughs> My face! Just Kel being Kel. So many party hats. Sonny playing a video game on the couch. Sonny's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Uh, really? Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. Venting to him, huh? Hmm. Uh, we're back from the park, but Kill is still full of energy. Ah, oh, come on! Die, hero! Challenge here to an arm wrestling match, but we we all know who's going to win. Did Kel dye his hair then? See, look, it is dark in these pictures. Please go easy on him, hero. Maybe he did, or maybe his hair just got lighter as he got older. <laughs> Oof, sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Oh, there's that picture. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing a hero in arm wrestling last night, so hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kels looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Uh, okay. We got Basil. Hey, look, I'm wearing my socks. I look, I got to look a lot like a, a Mori in this picture. He's showing Sonny a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. Ah, oh, cuddles. It's all of us cuddling with Sonny's stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all so soft. 
And they all turn to monsters. Oh, hey, look, there's Happy and uh, Nose Nose. And oh my God, I see Browse! Ah! <laughs> Uh, all the kids to the playground. They're all my stuffed animals. Wish I could just lay here, here forever. Okay, we got this picture again. Mario's teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. You're setting following Mario's example. Looks perfect, doesn't it? I feel like Mario thought so too. <laughs> You're still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. I wonder why only some of these made into, uh, Sonny's, like, headspace photo album, you know? It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during the springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Rain is yummy. <laughs> just Kel being Kel again. Went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Just Kel hanging his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I'm gonna live forever, guys! Yeah! Wish I was as fearless as him. Yay, watermelon! It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all went, wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. <laughs> gluck, 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 gluck. Oh, look, I'm not drinking a giant bottle of milk this time. I'm drinking a soda, and I'm actually putting my mouth around it. Instead of just pouring it into my mouth and going, eh. Kel cleaning off of some refreshing orange gel. I shouldn't get too close to her. He might get my camera wet. Kel's going to spill his drinks. <laughs> What'd you say, Basil? Ah, <laughs> oh, god dang it. Hmm, this is fine. I'm fine. That photo of Sonny is a fucking mood. We buried Sonny in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. Wonder if he's going to need help getting out. Guess I'll keep him company until then. Sonny's birthday, July 20th. Yay, Sonny's turning 12 today. 12? Even though me, Sonny, Aubrey, and Kel are, are in the same school year, Sonny is younger than all of us. Ah, uh, okay. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Damn, it's a big ass gift. Sonny holding a super huge present for Mari and Hero. Hmm, I wonder what, what it is. Piano? Uh, Mr. Mew? Can't really tell from the photo, but Martin Hero got Sonny a giant building block set. Ah. Uh, Sonny seems much more interested in the box, though. He, said, he acts just like Mari's new kid, Mew. -o. Hey! There he is, Mr. Mew. -o. I fucking knew it. So it was, it was Mari's kid all along. <laughs> My kitty. Sonny won't leave the box, so Kel put a football inside. <laughs> Guess this box will be Sonny and Mew's new home. I see you, bug. I'm gonna get you. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sonny is there too. He looks kind of—he looks kind of sleepy. Yeah, here I am. A little bit more blurry than the headspace version. Went to the bathroom, came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sonny, and Kel and Aubrey are bright, up bright and early. Aubrey's so photogenic. What, what the hell is this angle? Seriously. Bez, Bez, are you like on the ground right now? <sighs> Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. Oh, that's it. That's the end of it. Oh, oh, wait. No, it isn't. There are photos missing. Yeah, there are. A bunch of photos have been removed. Oh, every photo with Mari has been, re has been removed. I'm actually wondering. I think I'm starting to think that potentially Aubrey took this photo album and removed the Mari's photos herself because it was depressing Basil probably, right? Like he, she said she was like the keeper of it, right? He was depressing him or maybe he was hurting himself or something by and this, just looking at those pictures. Yeah, all of the all the ones that are missing are gonna be pictures with Mari in them. I can't read what any of these say though, damn it. God damn it, why, do you, why, why the hell do I need a picture to be able to read this? Come on, come on, Sonny, you asshole. And there's not a picture, you should be able to still read the, read the thing. Anybody in the, this place yet? I think the pastor might be living there. All right, guys. I think this is a good place in things here for now. I'm going to go make a once through next episode. Make sure that I didn't miss any new uh, things that have likely popped up. Now that the time of day has changed. You guys can let me know if I happen to miss anything before the time of day has changed as well. I do have a save from that point. So if I need to go back, I can. Um, but this is good. This is really good. I'm already really enjoying this. Um, and I hope you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe. And already become Piggy Penguin aboard the SLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.